So this tool quietly came out without me noticing in 2018 and it's completely changed my life. Until now, I thought the best way of creating circles on geometry was to use a cylinder as a template and trace it manually. And I've been getting my students to do the same thing. But watch this, go into face mode on a dense mesh select a face you can grow it with shift full stop or the little right arrow on your keyboard and then do shift right click circularize components and you've got yourself a perfect circle it works for any size so you can go all the way up to something like this shift right click circularize and it works perfectly in the menu that comes up you may see that you may want it raised you may want it smaller it may be at the wrong angle so you can twist it back into the right place you can relax the interior more or less or keep it as a grid and you can now easily extrude it, select your hard edges, bevel them and you've got yourself a perfect cutout circle. Circularize even works on entire shapes like this flat plane here. If you go to face mode, select all the faces, shift right click, circularize components and it does that for you. And if you want to have some buttons recessed into this, you can do that as well. Spacebar to your top view for tracing an image or something, simply click on the face at the middle of the shape that you want to circularize and do shift full stop to grow your selection. Be careful if you end up with corners that touch like this, otherwise this will happen and you have a glitch. To stop this from happening, you're gonna now need to smooth the mesh to increase more divisions. That's mesh, smooth. You only need to increase it by one division and then with this higher poly mesh, go back and select the faces at the middle of the buttons and do shift full stop to grow your selection as needed. To stop these corners from touching, you'll just need to deselect them like this and try and make the backs of these buttons symmetrical by deselecting those as well by holding shift. And now you can do shift, right click, circularize components and it works perfectly. You're now free to extrude these down. I'm holding shift here to extrude quickly. I'm going to extract these buttons from there so I can move them up and combine them and turn them into their own buttons as well. They now will fit perfectly inside there. And again, give your edges a nice bevel and it's looking pretty good. But wait, there's more. It even works on curved surfaces too. Look at this recorder. If you add in some extra divisions, you can use mesh tools, insert edge loop options box to put in multiple edge loops. Try and keep your faces as square as possible and punch those in. If you want to put some in manually, you can use your multi-cut tool and middle click some in there as well. Once your curved surface is divided up nicely, go into face mode. You may want to jump to the top view and hold tab to select the faces you want so that you don't accidentally click on ones underneath. So I'm holding tab to select these faces here. I'm going to exaggerate the size of the holes in this recorder just for now. And when you're ready, shift, right click, circularize components and you'll see that they get flat on top which isn't good unless you're doing like a steam train or something so to create curved discs simply change the alignment from automatic to surface per vertex and it actually bends these around perfectly depending on whatever shape the surface is whether it's a cylinder or a car door it will work fine you can see here there's a slight twist going on on all of them um, even though the twist here is set to zero, I'm going to just twist that back myself manually like this, just doing it by eye, and I can increase the size of them uh, accordingly as well. If you hold control on the keyboard, you have slightly more control over how much you increase this number by. And then of course you can delete them and you're now free to extrude your geometry to give it some thickness. If your geometry goes black, when you do this, you can always go mesh display, reverse, and everything will be fine. And never forget to give it a bevel. In situations like this, because the edges, when you double click along, they seem to get to a junction and don't continue. The fastest way to select the edges for this to bevel is shift, double click in face mode instead on the inside of the extruded circles. And then on the keyboard, it's control right click to edges to edge perimeter and then you can click on the bevel tool from in there and bevel away if you need to model a pill shape for any reason after you've created your circular cutout wherever you're making simply go to edge mode and double click on the middle most edge on the equator of your circle and bevel that keep the bevel small so you don't distort the shape of it i'm holding control here so i have more control over this bevel and simply go to face mode in your top view 
and very carefully select all of the geometry to one side of the pill shape that you like to make. W for move, move that down and you've got yourself a stretched pill shape like this. Once you've got that, it might still look a little bit oval shaped when you smooth it. So it's still worth going through and adding some extra edge loops in the middle here like this. So now you've got yourself a perfectly formed pill shape hole in your geometry as well. Hit three and, and check out your geometry that has curved circles cut out of it but still retains a perfect edge flow. I hope this helps. And I apologize to the students I've taught this to for the past two years, but let this be a lesson to you that your lecturers don't always know the latest updates that Maya has. And it's always worth checking out tutorials from other people that have slightly more time on their hands than teachers. Check out my other tips and tutorials here and I'll see you next time.